we doing everybody today we are just going to talk about the size differential of the 12 to the 16 as you can see sitting here 12 16 you think the 12 is big i think got nothing on that mega machine right there so what we're gonna do we're just gonna give you some size comparison so when you're sitting at home and you're watching this you're like well how big is that 12 and maybe i want to go 16 just so you kind of can see so for starters um we'll just kind of lay them down here so we don't break any of this expensive equipment that we got laying here um, same covers obviously one's bigger than the other when you're looking at them from the front they are identical button wise the backs are identical GPS modules on top are identical the only thing different is this mega monitor over here it is huge so tape wise unit um, across is 17 inches to the outside edge. The 16 is 17 inches. So from across like that, you got 17 inches. And the height of this machine is roughly about 10 inches, a little less than 10 inches. So 17 by 10 monitor is actually huge. I mean, that is big. Then you go to the 12, which is still a great size monitor. You're at about 13 and a half by about eight and three quarters. So significantly size different. Now the monitor, the screen itself on this 16 across is about 13 and a half. Diagonal, 16 right on the head. So keep that in mind when you're buying units, it doesn't go this for your measurement. It is corner to corner, corner to corner measurement. So from here to here, it's 12 inches. So remember that. So when you're buying it and you get it, you expect this to be 12 inches. It's not that, it's from here to here. 12 inches okay and then of course on this one corner to corner 16 inches for you guys that want to be able to see super clear standing up front imagine looking at that monitor unbelievable but still both a great unit 12 16 go check them out now we go to my only complaint really about these Lorance units and that is the gimbal bracket when you're having a 16 and everybody that's ever bought a especially a newer Lorance unit knows that that thing gets flexing and I'm, this thing here, I don't know what that weighs, but it's there's some weight there. I personally always recommend jumping over to Bass Boat Technologies and getting his gimbal brackets. They are, I mean, I cannot bend that thing. This is as short he offers for the 16 and this is as tall he offers for the 16. You can see the height difference, but imagine that thing locked down on your dash. I mean, it is not gonna move. The only thing that would move would be was holding it. This thing is not going to flex. You're not going to break it. It's going to hold that expensive 16 in place. He's got them for 10s, 12s. I think he even goes down to 7s. But get over to Basketball Technologies and take a look at what they got to offer. Great products.